الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحب وسلم اما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى created us created mankind and jinn for the purpose of worshiping him subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation is vast and magnificent and Ibn Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala said about the ayat وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْتِ لِلَّهِ عَبْدُونَ he said الْخَالِكْ لِهَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءِ هُوَ مُسْتَحِقْ لِلْعِبَادَةِ He said the creator of these, of, of, that, of those things, meaning mankind and jinn and all, all the things that were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala هُوَ مُسْتَحِقْ لِلْعِبَادَةِ That he is the only one, or he is, the, he is worthy of worship. Why? Because he has the ability to create. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the, ab the ability. He gives life with death. Allah is all aware of all things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all things. And He gives life. And He gives death. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with uh, righteous endings. And may He be pleased with us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. <laughs>